Une question nous est présentée par euh, Andrew Prisaski. Bonjour, M. Prisaski, et bienvenue. Bonjour. Wow. <laughs> I'm a first time visitor here, and I just want to thank uh, Madame le President and, uh, and Council for providing such an excellent forum. I feel like I, I can be heard here. Uh, just observing uh, some of the questioning last night. Anyways, I'll get to why I'm here. Uh, my wife and I bought a house uh, on West Broadway in NDG. Uh, I'm uh, born and raised in Montreal, but currently live in NDG. And this place was currently renovated or completely renovated in 2014. <clears throat> At the time, the pipes and all that connects to the city's sewer, storm sewer, <clears throat> and water service were all new from the city sidewalk right to our house. A standard backflow preventer was installed as, at the same time as part of the installation to prevent excessive water from coming in uh, from the storm drain. Problem is that the city of Montreal's storm drain is calibrated for the 1940s and simply can't handle current, current demands. Further, the city's storm drain tunnel is not properly maintained. I have a picture I can show you later on of uh, w when I get water in my house, uh, there's black soot only. Thank God it's not sewage. It's uh, rainwater mixed with black soot, which is a strong indication by an uh, engineer that I consulted with that they're not properly maintained. So this all further reduces the uh, storm dreams capacity. And the result of all this is that twice, two summers in a row, uh, in July of 2023, and again in August of 24, I've had to spend an entire month unretired in the middle of my summer de dealing with tradespeople, insurance companies, uh, ripping up carpets, throwing out furniture, um, in short, I'm, I'm really fed up, and I don't want to go through this again. Can we start with the first question, Mr. Prisaski? Okay. Um, what's worse is uh, having done all I could at my end, and this is part of the uh, question, to include proper maintenance of my backflow preventer, which is all I can do uh, when, when it comes to the storm drain. I get inundated with calls and visits by representatives of the city of Montreal telling me what I, I should do. Mr. Prisaski, yeah. can we start with the first question, please, and then you'll be okay, able to continue. Okay, I'm really, I'm two seconds away from it. Uh, telling me what I should do when in reality it's the city's inadequate storm drain that's causing the problem in the first place. My question is, and considering our street is located at a low point that serves as a collector, uh, collecting all the water that flows down westward from the top of Mount Royal down through western, the western point of Westmount, sloping down through NDG. All this uh, rainwater actually collects on our street. Mr. It literally, literally pools there. So my question is, under the circumstances, can the city not make our street a priority? Thank you. Madame Maya Vodanovic. Thank you for your question, Mr. Prisesky. As you know, it's not just your problem. It's a problem of thousands and thousands of people across Quebec. In the last rain on the 9th of August, 50, 50 municipalities were flooded. Thousands and thousands of people. There is no way that the infrastructure that we have in Quebec, all over the world, we cannot take the water that is coming down of a tropical storm and put it underground. There is just no way. We cannot, there is 85, um, there's 85 drainage basins across the city, and we have been for many years now looking at all of them, and we're going to be prioritizing which one we do first. We can, as you, it's humanly impossible to do everything. And even if it is all redone, it does not solve the problem. There will still be a risk of flooding, especially for people in low zones. So what we need to do, this is infrastructure is on the long run. It will take 10, 20, 30, 40 years to improve the system and it will still not be 
at risk, it will still not be no risk. What we have to do on the medium term is to collect the water in water parks. And we've been doing this in the last couple of years. We want to contain four Olympic pools a year in parks. So that's medium. On the short term, you need to protect your home. And it's not that we want to say, I know you don't want to hear this, but it is the only thing that will protect you because infrastructure work takes years and years and years and years and we we need to do it we need to do it step by step ndg will be done eventually they all you already have a water bass and there's 19 in the city it's not enough so you need to protect your homes and there's ways to do it Merci. and please listen to the city and do what needs to be done to protect your home additional question well I would love to answer that. Maybe we could speak at another time uh, on the subject. Uh, I appreciate your answer, but there's other mitigating facts that I'd like to have a conversation with you. And I, I just want to present the reality of what, what we've been through. Um, and I, I guess my secondary question, this one's uh, uh, from Mayor Plant. How would you feel if I took a dirty high pressure hose and filled your retirement home basement with three inches of water that had black soot in it in the middle of the summer and then less than 12 months later after you'd finished cleaning up the mess and done all the necessary repairs I come back and do it again next summer and with all due respect ma'am to to what you said the all the things that the city uh, asked me to do like some pumps none of them will do anything except there's the backflow preventer, which... Mr. Prusaski, unfortunately, I must stop you here because we exceeded the time allocated. We'll go ahead with a final answer from Ms. Gracia kiasuki katawa Thank you. Mr. Prusaski, I'm, I'm the mayor of Codenage and DG, and I really wanted to... Um, I really want to thank you for coming here this morning and sharing your story with us. Uh, my colleague Despina Sorias is actually already waiting for you outside, so you could give her maybe more details about uh, uh, about your specific situation, but I just want to tell you that uh, I, I, under, I, I know that it's really difficult because we've met a, a lot of people from NDG who got flooded last year and some of them that got flooded also this year. As my colleagues say, um, this is uh, one of the consequences of, of climate change and we all need to adapt, but I know that for the people who had to live this, it's really, really, really difficult. I was on the ground on August 9 and I, and, and I was able to see uh, the impact on your lives and I'm, 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 really, I'm really sorry about this. We're working and we're doing the best uh, as, as we can to be able to help the citizens to adapt in this situation. But my colleague will speak to you, Despina Soria, she's waiting for you outside. For, thank you for coming this morning. Thank you, Mr. Prusaski. Have a good day. See you next time.